So what is Cassandra? Cassandra is open source. It's an Apache project. Cassandra is a NoSQL database technology. You may or may not have heard of NoSQL. It's a relatively new expression. For most people, it refers to not only SQL, meaning an alternative to the traditional relational database technologies, such as Oracle, MySQL, SQL Server. Apache Cassandra is a distributed database technology as well. Instead of the database only being able to live on one server, it can actually be spread across multiple servers. This is huge. This allows a database to grow almost infinitely because it's no longer restricted to having to fit all on one server. Cassandra is a big data technology which provides massive scalability. I'm aware of some instances of Cassandra where the cluster is a thousand nodes, a thousand servers that make up a cluster that the database is spread across. That's a lot of data. And Apache Cassandra is commonly used to create a database that is spread across nodes in more than one data center for high availability. Not only can your database live across multiple servers, but those servers can be spread across more than one data center. This is a reason that people often choose Cassandra over other database technologies because they want to make sure that if one of their data centers goes down, that another one can continue to serve requests so that their application is always available. And finally, if some of this seems familiar to you, it could be that you are familiar with Amazon Dynamo, which is a distributed database technology, or Google's Bigtable, which was created for storing huge amounts of data. Cassandra is based on both of these technologies. Let's go ahead and take a look at the Apache Cassandra homepage so we can learn a little bit more about Cassandra. If you'd like to follow along with me, you can go ahead and open up a browser window. To go to the homepage, you can enter cassandra.apache.org. This is the homepage for Apache Cassandra. And here it mentions linear scalability, which like it sounds is the case with Cassandra. You can add more and more nodes to the cluster and it will still have top performance. It will still be highly performant. There's not a degradation of performance as you're adding additional nodes. Fault tolerance. Each node, each server in a Cassandra cluster has the same functionality as the others. You don't have to worry about a master node going down and the whole thing stopping to work because Cassandra doesn't work that way. It works in a way so that each node has the same capabilities as the others, which makes it easy to add additional nodes and makes it so there is not a single point of failure. Also here, we see commodity hardware. That's another great selling point is that you do not have to buy specialized servers in order to run Cassandra. You can use commodity hardware. I'm gonna go ahead and scroll down a little bit here. There's a nice section down here. Talks about fault tolerant. We were just talking about that. Highly performant. Cassandra is highly performant and it's for creating real-time applications. It's not to be confused with analytic technologies like Hadoop, where they run at night, they run in batches. Those sorts of applications are not designed for real-time whereas Cassandra is. Making that differentiation between a real-time, highly available technology, as opposed to a batch process, analytic type of technology. Decentralized, as we mentioned, no single points of failure. I'll mention this is the last one, highly durable, as we were talking about. You could have an entire data center go down and your database could still go on. So this movie was getting you started with what Cassandra is. It's a highly scalable, fault tolerant, distributed database technology that provides high availability.